Outdoors Del Marva covers everything outdoors. Including real hunting and fishing situations involving wildlife. We do our best each and every week to keep it tasteful, but discretion is advised. Now, enjoy the show. This is the best of Outdoors Del Marva, presented by Gateway Subaru. Higher standards. Some adventures are just too good to experience once. Here's Mike Parker with a look back on one of our favorite adventures. For you. This time we find ourselves doing something we've never done before with our friends aboard the Quintessa. Left out of Lewis, Delaware and headed about 74, 75 miles off the coast right now here in the beautiful Wilmington Canyon. Yeah, it's deep. The water is a gorgeous shade of blue. But we're not out here for billfish or tuna. No, we're doing something completely different. We've got some special gear hooked up and we're deep dropping. And the target species? Tilefish. There's a lot to say for departing Lewis Harbor at about a quarter after three on a Tuesday morning. Like it's necessary if you want to get out to the best offshore fishing spots around sunrise. On the way to Wilmington Canyon, a little high-speed trolling for Wahoo would kill two birds with one stone. Although the action on this morning seemed to be more drawn to the front of the boat. Finally, after about a three and a half hour ride, we'd get to our reason for being here. Yeah, deep dropping is something, I've been doing it for about 15 years now. Uh, it's becoming very popular. It's not easy to do, but it's easy to learn. And uh, just about anybody can do it as long as you have a boat capable of getting out this far. Now, like any sport fishing, the gear is essential. And mate Evan Falgowski is busy cutting up bait, which we'll have to somehow sink to the bottom. This is actually just a steel bar. We use it as a sinker, probably about three, four pounds. And what we got is bonita, we call it, on Friday, and a hunk of clam. We're going down pretty deep. We're down about three, four hundred feet. Before. When you're deep dropping, you'll have to get used to that sound of the drag letting out because gravity only works so quick in depths of between 400 and 1,500 feet. When you're on the bottom, a sensitive rod with quality line will let you know. With this braided line that they have today, you can literally feel your sinker in 900 to 1,000 feet of water because there's virtually no stretch in the line and you can, you basically are bouncing your sinker off the bottom, you know, at 1,000 feet of water and you can feel every, every little bump it hits. Dragging in the mud, you with these tile fish, you definitely will feel a positive bite as soon as that happens. You hit, hit the button and set the hook. And although electric reels will make the retrieval easier should we hook up, this is still busy fishing. And with gloved hands for protection, anglers seeking tile fish and other deep water species will constantly have to feel to make sure they're dragging bottom, where these mysterious deep dwellers live in Pueblo-style holes in the mud. We're just minutes into our drop when something hits the line. But by the speed of the reel, it doesn't feel like anything big. But the arrival of this small, long tail bass is still a big thrill, as its vibrant pinks and yellow colors draw oohs and ahs all around. Next up, it's rookie deep dropper Hank's turn. But just seconds into the pole, a hang up on the rod tip snaps the line. Oh. Oh, it's hung up. But it turns out Lady Luck is shining on the Quintessa when Ted's line also gets bit again. Call me Lucky. <laughs> and along with his double header of golden tilefish, Seconds later, we realize he's also tied into Hank's lost line, and we've got a second chance to haul in this beauty. Get outdoors, Delmarva. Tile fish. I think so many people spend so much time out here, you know, bill fishing and trying to hook up tuna. It's like a whole other world down there at the bottom, isn't it? Yeah, it's pretty productive. I mean, we've been, uh, we've only been doing this for about the last hour. I think we got about 10, 10 or 11 fish in the box and uh, probably two or three more coming up now. 
with fish after fish arriving on deck. This day aboard the Quintessa is already a success. <laughs> that was got a little chin on him. Yeah, that's my biggest one. Yeah. Yeah. And by mid-morning, uh, we're already approaching our recreational limit of 300 pounds of tile fish. So for good measure, I'm going to try my hand at pulling one in on a traditional rod and wheel. Come on, Em, I want to make another drift. Get that fish in. It's just such a long, um, <laughs> such a long piece of string that you're trying to get back into the rod, and we were down what? How deep we, Captain? Uh, you know how I cook through for 860 feet. 860 feet. That's uh. Almost just short of uh, three football fields long. And go. quickly learning just how tiring it is to pull up even a smaller one of these fish from depths of eight or 900 feet. With our coolers filled, it's time for the long ride back to Lewis, where a small crowd has now gathered to take in our colorful catch. Didn't realize how big these fish really were? Well, here's a picture this little guy won't soon forget. And while the offshore adventure may be over for now, are these tiled fish sized tails have only just begun. Get out of the water, <laughs> All right. and cut. Still to come on the best of Outdoors Del Marva, more of our favorite adventures. What you're looking for is right here at James Island in Somerset County. But first, did you know? Because of their bright, vibrant coloring and pronounced eyes, tilefish have gained a nickname by fishermen. What is it? The answer when we come back. This is the best of Outdoors Del Marva, presented by Gateway Subaru. Higher standards. Sponsored by Ocean City Tourism. Shorts Marine. Shooter's Choice. John Mann Outdoors and Wink Sporting Goods. <laughs> Did you know? Because of their bright, vibrant coloring and pronounced eyes, tilefish have gained the nickname Clown of the Sea. Did You Know is sponsored by North Bay Marina. You know, the basic needs of modern life are food, water, love, and a chance to get away every once in a while. And down here at Janes Island State Park in Somerset County, they have some getaways that I think will surprise you. County. The island itself is 2,900 acres of salt marsh habitat with over 30 miles of canoe and kayak trails through a labyrinth of creeks and streams. It's hard to believe that almost two years have gone by since we visited one of our favorite destinations on Delmarva. Close enough to civilization so that you don't feel like you need a Sherpa and a month's worth of supplies, but far enough away to experience Delmarva as it was enjoyed by its original native inhabitants. It's a place to enjoy kayaking, fishing, and you can even catch crabs right off its neatly displayed harbor. But we're attracted to two features on Jane's Island that are hard to beat. First is its nearly five miles of pristine white sandy beaches that are only accessible by boat, or in our case, Chopper 16. The second are its camping sites. There are over a hundred places to camp on the mainland, nearly half of which are equipped with electricity. For those who don't mind a little luxury, there are nine cabins, each with a waterfront view, and four of these are full service cabins. Just bring your linens, your towels, and your love of the outdoors. But our favorite option is way out there, and that's where we're going. And out there means out on the island, so we're gonna have to take a canoe. Our destination will be one of the park's three backcountry campgrounds. And to say just getting there is sheer pleasure would be an understatement. The kitchen and my luggage. 
We'll be erecting our shelter on one of these, a 10-foot square raised wooden platform that'll keep us above any moisture and slinky critters that happen by in the night. Well, we have the camp set up, and while there's still a little daylight left, it's time to do some exploring. Well, we're finally by ourselves out here in the wilds of Somerset County, and you can see the skyline of Crisfield over there, but it might as well be on another planet. Went up at the head of the creek, and just in back of the beach, there's a dock or to more um, motorboats of all sizes, so that you can put a boat over there at James Island and cruise right up to the back side of the beach and have a place to have a good place to tie up. You don't want to go to Bora Bora. Bora Bora is full of people looking for deserted beaches. What you're looking for is right here at James Island in Somerset County. Take a look at that. You can never get enough of those pristine white sandy beaches on the bay side of James Island. It's the kind of place where dreams are born, your senses come alive, and your spirit gets a chance to soar a little in the wind. It's a pleasure just to put some footprints on its virgin surface. And of course, we might just have to suffer through yet another beautiful Delmarva sunset painting its mark on the face of the Chesapeake. And think nice, tranquil thoughts before returning to the campsite for the night. I'm getting ready to cook up some tasty supper. A little fuel stove here. It's a handy little devil. It's light and it takes anything that will burn. Gasoline, kerosene, uh, white uh, like Coleman fuel, just about anything that'll burn. The instructions say expect a soccer ball sized flame. Just for convenience, we're going to try some of these freeze dried packaged foods here. All you do is add water and you can eat them right out of the package. So uh, we'll have a consumer report for you here in about a half hour. I'm going to be eating Kathmandu curry. It's a vegetarian dish. Looks like kind of uh, little marshmallow cubes. Now, I think you picked the right one because yours looks fairly interesting. like the inside of an Ikea furniture store smells. We finally made it to the backcountry campsites here in Jane's Island. It's been a great day. We've had supper, a lot of peace and quiet around out here. So now it's time to turn in. So good night and get outdoors, Delmarva. Still to come on the best of outdoors, Delmarva, more of our favorite adventures. This is the best of Outdoors Del Marva, presented by Gateway Subaru. Higher standards. And now, here's Captain Willie Dykes. Adventure surrounds us everywhere here on Del Marva, and as one group of youngsters recently found out, the only limit is your imagination. What are we looking for today, pirates? Treasure! Treasure! I can't hear you. Treasure! Now that's good. If we're looking for treasure, there's usually a bad pirate. So we're going to have to sneak on the boat so he won't see us coming. Who knows how to be sneaky? Me! Hey, you! Everybody. Me. Come on, mates! And with that rallying cry, this group of pint-sized scallywags stole aboard the Sea Gypsy in Lewis Harbor this fine summer day, intoxicated by the lure of treasure and adventure. Scallywags, what are we looking for today? Treasure! All right, we need a what? We need a, a map. A map. 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 Smart map. as paint. Reviewing the maps at the map station will reveal landmarks the young buccaneers will find on their way to the treasure. But it soon becomes apparent that the captain is heading in the wrong direction. You know, I'm taught it's a big red boat 
with slight letters of course it says over frogs. Like that one over there. I'm not gonna turn around, no way, no how, uh-uh. The motley crew threatens the unthinkable. And after the course correction, the journey is back on track. Find it yet? Every landmark reached brings the scurvy dogs closer to their quest, and anyone standing in their way are sure to receive 18 inches of cold, hard, molded plastic. And just to be sure, the battle flag is raised. Can you pirates be loud? And just then, could it be? Surely it can. But it is. It be the dreaded pirate peak. You think you can take the treasure from the great pirate peak? God save! Pirate Pete soaked to the gills by a few hundred gallons from the ably manned water cannons, the treasure nears closer until finally... Pete! No, not on the treasure! <laughs> I hope it's something to say. I hope it's something too. Up front, Pete! Go front! And it's time to divvy up the plunder. There you be, mate. There you go, mate. Go see the front. A few of the hearty crew are even rewarded by the brave Captain Barry. I have to reward you for meritorious service, bravery under fire, and heroism beyond, beyond belief. We raised the battle flag and saved the gold. Let's hear it for Riley. Their quest fulfilled, the young bucks scan the shores for wildlife. Those are the rare Cape Henlopen albino monkey deer. That's right. You scurvy rat! Shiver me timbers, it's the Scourge Pirate Pete again. But this time he's so thoroughly defeated that he has no choice but to surrender completely and make allies of the crew. Come on, come on, mate, come on, come on, don't be shy, come to the rail and let it fly. Their journey at an end, this happy crew can now get into further mischief for sure, and the night will no doubt dream about what future adventures lie ahead. Give me some time to blow them down. Coming up next on Outdoors Del Marva, if you're looking for adventure with a side of style, well, we found it. Check out the brand new 2013 Subaru XV Crosstrek. You're watching the best of Outdoors Del Marva. This is the best of Outdoors Del Marva, presented by Gateway Subaru. Higher standards. Thanks for watching Outdoors Del Marva. I'm Mike Parker, and we're back here again with our friends at Gateway Subaru, located on Route 13 in Del Mar, Maryland. Higher standards when it comes to buying that new car. It is Customer Appreciation Day here at Gateway Subaru. Take a look around, the place is packed. People are learning about all sorts of community partners. The Wicomico County Humane Society is here. The kids are having fun. We've got dogs running around. And of course, people are taking a look at the whole lineup of 2013 Subaru models. Joining us right now is Drew Hazencope with Gateway Subaru. Drew, always a pleasure. Thanks, Mike. What an event. Tell me what inspired this. Well, it was a way that we could give back to the community, say thank you for coming in and giving us a business that we enjoyed the last two and a half years here. And what better way with the food, dogs, and lots of fun. Well, I'll tell you what, as we take a look at the new lineup of 2013 Subarus, the one that's catching my eye and a lot of people around here is the new XV Crosstrek. It's getting a lot of buzz in every magazine, every publication that takes a review at it is loving what they see. And you've got a guy that can tell us all about it, right? Absolutely. And here he is, Aaron Levinko with Gateway Subaru, also known as our XV Crosstrek Specialist. This is the new XV Crosstrek. It actually is the most fuel efficient crossover in America. It's getting 33 miles to the gallon on the highway. It gets you just up high enough. 
We actually just got back from an off-road event, and we were taking this thing over bumps and everything else. Unbelievable. Took on a 45-degree side slope, low center of gravity. It'll take you wherever you want to go. Sand on the beach, out to the mountains. Car is going to be the perfect companion in all your adventures. The XB Cross Trek is about as rugged as you'd expect from a Subaru. Man, it's got some style too. Well, Aaron, one thing that's popping out of me already is the interior. Really nice. With all the limited trim level, you're going to get the leather seats. You've got the automatic climate control, just like setting a, setting a thermostat at your house. We've also got standard Bluetooth, so you get the hands-free calling. Don't have to worry about it. You got USB inputs, auxiliary inputs to get all the latest music. Also, you're going to get the all-weather package. Keep the heated front seats. You get the heated side mirrors as well as the heated windshield wiper de-icers. In other words, the XV Crosstrek makes it easy to get just about anywhere and do it in comfort. And a car like this is designed for people who play hard, and Subaru makes it easy with features like this rear bumper guard. And Mike, for all the toys that don't fit inside the truck, you turn around and you got 1,500 pounds of towing capacity as well. It's perfect for a couple of jet skis or a small fishing boat. It's a go-getter. Well, I'm really impressed with this new XV Crosstrek. Makes a great addition to the line of Subarus here in 2013. Drew Hazencope, thanks for having us. Customer Appreciation Day. It's really every day here at Gateway Subaru. Yeah, absolutely, Mike. Thanks for coming out. We enjoy having the show out here, and you're absolutely right. It couldn't be a better time to buy a Subaru. All right, if you're looking for a car that's safe, reliable, and of course comes with that all-important symmetrical all-wheel drive, look no further than our friends here at Gateway Subaru, located on Route 13 in Del Mar, Maryland, higher standards. And we'll be right back. Good girl, good girl. Coming up next on Outdoors Del Marva, your latest viewer videos and pictures. Outdoors Del Marva viewer pictures are sponsored by Shorts Marine. This is the best of Outdoors Del Marva. Presented by Gateway Subaru. Higher standards. Sponsored by Ocean City Tourism. Shorts Marine. Shooter's Choice. Sean Mann Outdoors. And Wink Sporting Goods. Well, it's time now to take a look at some of the videos and pictures sent in by our own Outdoors Del Marva viewers. Lauren Pershaw says girls can find the big bucks too, and she proves it with this 11-pointer harvested in Harrington during the shotgun season. Eight-year-old Ian Riley from Millsboro scored with this nice little spike buck. It's his first ever deer. Meanwhile, brother Noah Wharton also helped fill the family freezer by harvesting this doe. Check out this piebald buck taken by eight-year-old Gavin Spicer of Seaford. This five-pointer was dropped with a 20 gauge. Scott Egbert of Dover says the rut is on and looks like he took full advantage bagging this big buck. John Lane of Church Creek found success on the tail of this mature Sika stag. Nice deer. Tony Grove of Hebron was hunting on Youth Day near Snow Hill when he harvested both a doe and this 10-pointer which presented the shot after his dad, Jim, did a little grunting. Nine-year-old Caroline Kennington from Allen, Maryland, is celebrating her first ever deer, a nice buck hunted down in Hebron. How about this tall racked buck taken by 10-year-old Macy Griffin of Princess Anne? Needless to say, she and dad DJ won't soon forget this Maryland Youth Day spent hunting in North Salisbury. And Joseph Beebe from Girdle Tree caught this juvenile black drum while fishing in Virginia this summer. He says the fish were biting on, what else, night crawlers at the Saxis Pier. Well, we love sharing your outdoors videos and pictures, so please keep them coming. You can email me at mparker at wboc.com or you can post them on the Outdoors Del Marva Facebook page. So until next time, for Captain Willie Dykes, I'm Mike Parker reminding you to get outdoors, Del Marva.